Hey everybody, DeLongshot Signatures here. This is episode 61 of my TTM Returns. Got in 15 successes to start off this week for 38 autographs, bringing me to 996 on the year. But before I get into all that, um, I'll just give out some free advertising. Uh, I received this kind of postcard photo information um, from former uh, Cowboys defensive player. I don't remember if he was a linebacker or defensive lineman, uh, but Larry Cole. Um, I guess he's going to be releasing a book, or he has released a book, and uh, is kind of sending some stuff out to let people know to purchase it. Um, it's uh, it's nice of him to do that. I mean, you know, for his own uh, uh, branding and everything, I definitely wasn't expecting to receive anything from him, considering I wrote him five years ago. Um, but uh, he sent that to me, so you know he's been keeping track of stuff. So I might as well just, you know, let you guys know about it. But we'll get into the returns here. First off, we have a uh, hockey success. This is a 2 of 2 coming back from Dominic Cahoon. Uh, he's no longer in the NHL. Um, just played about 100 games there. And uh, I think he's he's in Europe playing again. So I had to send to a European team. But uh, really glad to get those back. Then we have a... Uh, pretty decent number of racing returns. First one here is a 5 of 5 success. I got this guy recently on a hero card and then uh, resent to him uh, with some trading cards that I got, but got back Austin Sendrick. So we signed a few of these uh, glossy optic prism cards. Also got him on a couple of the standard uh, paper base cards for 2020 Don Russ. Very glad to add those to the set. And then the next one is a 4 of 4 return from, pretty sure he's the last full-time cup driver that I didn't have. Uh, been trying to get him for a few years now, but it looks like he's picking up signing. So got back Harrison Burton. He won a few races at the Xfinity Series level. Got moved up to uh, Wood Brothers Racing this year. Um, he was uh, doing pretty strong in the Daytona 500. Ended up getting things spun out uh, after he got up towards the front. So, you know, he's got some stuff to learn, but I think he'll be an exciting racer to watch over the next few years. Then we got a two of one back. Um, he included an extra card of his own, which is nice, but I think he swapped out the card that I sent with another one. So got back... Josh Williams. Um, I don't ever really send out these parallels unless I don't have anything else. Uh, I usually try to keep the base cards together and count those for the sets. So it was nice of them to include a uh, an extra because I only I'd only sent one. Um, just wished I would have gotten back uh, the one that I sent, but I can always send to him later. So great to get the success there. Next one is a five of six return. Looks like he kept a card. This is coming back from former MLB player Kelly Gruber. I actually meant to put this in the sequence earlier. Um, so we signed the 90 Upper Deck, two 90 Don Russes, including a Diamond Kings. Got a 92 Don Russ and a 92 Fleer Ultra. So it looks like the card that he kept was the 92 Leaf. I'll have to reorder one of those and send at a later time. And then uh, continuing with the um, racing successes, I usually like to keep them in order of, you know, sport or genre. Uh, we got former crew chief and two-time Cup Series champion Greg Zipidelli. He won the championships with Tony Stewart back, I think, in like 2001 and 2005, somewhere around there. So really cool to get those. We also have another current crew chief here. Uh, he's in the truck series for Kyle Busch Motorsports. Got back two of two from Marty Lindley. So uh, I think it's spelled M-A-R-D-Y. But really cool to get those. He won a race uh, this year. I think he's won a couple more in a couple seasons prior. Then we have an IndyCar Hero Card request coming back. Uh, received three signed hero cards from Chip Ganassi Racing. No Jimmy Johnson this time. It is what it is. Just glad to get something. 
Scott Beck, Alex Pillow, Scott Dixon, and Marcus Erickson. We have an FCS football head coach return. Uh, he was just announced uh, a few months ago as the new head coach for Long Island University. So this is a two of two success coming from Ron Cooper. Signed both of those in about two months. We have a pretty cool success here. I haven't seen anyone else get him back yet. Um, this guy is a former uh, college football head coach and is now a member of the U.S. Senate. Um, representing Alabama. So this is a two of two success from Tommy Tuberville. I want to say I sent to his Washington DC address and he sent back in his own envelope and everything. Just signed my photos, nothing else uh, extra included, but really, really glad to get those. Um, I think he had like a 159 and 99 head coaching record, something like seven or eight bowl wins. So he was very successful there. And, uh, Occasionally, from time to time, I'll collect uh, people that have been involved in the U.S. government. So, hitting two uh, collections with that. Then we have a college baseball head coach. Um, this guy was formerly the head coach at Purdue and is now the head coach at Oregon. So, signing two of two, got Mark Wazikowski, I think is how it's pronounced. Signing both of those. I am going to have to check my computer for this next name real quick because I do not remember what it is. Okay, so the next one is an MLS head coach return. Hopefully I remember it. Um, this guy is the head coach for the Portland Timbers. So this is a two of two success from Giovanni Savarese. I'm pretty sure that's his name. Signed both of those in a really big silver sharpie. Really cool to get that. And we got some 8x10s back as well. These uh, these are all coming back from some Hall of Famers. So first one is a 2 of 1 success from former NBA referee Dick Bavetta. Signed uh, the photo that I sent and included a little paper that has some stuff um, about his career. Signed that as well. And uh, as you can see on there, um, he officiated 2,600 consecutive games, never missed a game, holds the most record, holds the record for most officiated games. Um, absolutely stellar career and uh, absolutely worthy of being in the Basketball Hall of Fame. Another one who is also in there is a former two-time women's national uh, college basketball champion, uh, Billy Moore, signing one of one. This was before the... NCAA regulated everything with women's um, sports, so it was a different organization that sponsored her championships. I think one was at UCLA, I think the other one was like Cal State Fullerton or something like that. So um, kind of disorganized back then. Uh, her record isn't like super impressive in terms of like the total number of wins, but I also imagine they weren't playing nearly as many games back then. So uh, really glad to add her to the collection. Last one here is an MLB Hall of Famer. Uh, I think he was $10 per. So got back two of two from former, I think he was a first baseman, Orlando Cepeda. So thought these photos both came out really nice. He chose a good spot for both of them, signed in blue, and well worth uh, $20 in total for sending that. But a great way to start this week. Hopefully your guys' mailbox are full as well. But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. Best luck with you guys' collecting. Take care.